over capacity. That's the current state of the Tuscaloosa Metro Animal Shelter. WVUA 23's Chelsea Barden was there today, and she joins us now with more on how you can help relieve this situation. Chelsea. Phillip, shelter officials say this is their busiest time of year when it comes to taking animals in. The overwhelming number of homeless animals there is causing the shelter to have to temporarily suspend intake from the public. We do euthanize every day. We have some that leave for foster or rescues every day. And so um, just the biggest need is foster, uh, rescue, adoptions, uh, more and more, just helping more and more animals get out of the shelter. Tuscaloosa Metro Animal Shelter Operations Manager Nikki Hoggle wants folks to know that they can help in ways other than adopting. They can donate, volunteer, um, foster. Also, you can educate. Just uh, put out there about spaying and neutering your animals because uh, that's, the, that's, the that's the biggest concern. It's people like Harry Jackson who keep Tuscaloosa Metro Animal Shelter going. He actually came in just to donate. So he comes in um, almost every week to donate supplies. And uh, he knew that we were, we were overwhelmed. And he came in and not, got not one but two. My wife and I talked about it this morning and she says, well, get something if you, if, if you want. So I got a cat and a dog, so I couldn't resist them when I went back there. After losing pets in recent years, Katie Mizell is using the overcrowding crisis at the shelter to welcome a new family member. She just kind of spoke to me. Um, little little thing, kind of timid in her cage, and, and we went into the little playroom, and she just snuggled right up in my lap. She, you know, started patting her. She then turned around, started licking my face, and I love you already, I think. So if you're interested in giving any of these pets a forever home, the Metro Animal Shelter wants to hear from you. The animals need it, Metro needs it, and you probably need it too. So. Nearly 500 animals have been adopted from the Tuscaloosa Metro Animal Shelter this year, but there are still hundreds that need a good home. If you're interested in adopting or fostering one of these animals, you can find more information on the shelter's website. That's MetroAnimalShelter.org. Live tonight, I'm Chelsea Barton, WVUA 23 News.